I'm turned up. Let me turn up uh, Squint's mic too. All right. Oh. You, just the test. Can you guys hear us? Test. I'm also talking as well. Yeah, looks like good. Do yours, uh, testing, testing. One, two, three. All right, I think we're good. Yeah. We're, think we're good. All right. Um, so this is like the, our third ever Halloween marathon that we've done. Ooh. And I think we're getting close to 30 marathons total. Maybe we can break, I think we're at 425,000. Maybe we can get to 435 by the end of this marathon. We're raising money for Heifer International and Alan's gonna kick us off with Splatterhouse, almost said Slaughterhouse. He, said, he <laughs> says Splatterhouse, dang it. Uh, <laughs> the angry email. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the game is called Splatterhouse. For all you Splatterhouse, Splatterhouse fans out there. Got it. And I hope you guys like my costume because I spent forever on it. <laughs> Uh, the music still going. Oh, the music! God dang it, Britt! I told you this. It's it's all the music isn't too loud, so it's probably not. We're only thirty seconds in, and you failed. I know this marathon fell apart very quickly. <laughs> How about uh, Alan's or Splatterhouse's game audio? Does it sound good? Loud buzz in the audio, bit loud. I hear buzzing. Bit loud. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let me adjust the game audio. I wrote the game this game yet, so no. Alright. Is this better, guys? Oh, of course. Oh, it's still really loud. No, not for it. What about now? The lower. Still loud. Yeah, you can hear it. But the lower now. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Is that good? You say the buzzing is bad. Buzzing. How, uh, buzzing is louder. Oh, okay. No. The buzzing is. It might. I uh, just yeah, turned off my mic. Um, the guy see if the tried buzzing. to show all of the past. <laughs> it, became a, it became a problem. I think he hasn't played the game in a while. There is a buzz noise. What are we making the buzz I turned this microphone off. Um, what are we making the buzzing? I'm fighting back one. Buzz went away. Someone that'll hear a buzz. What? Meeting, meeting, fleshy worms. Uh, try turning it off now. The Hello, microphone check. Is the buzzing through the microphone? Here, Chase, I'll plug this uh, up and you can hear it through here. That doesn't matter. Doesn't it's, now, they're saying, it. now they're saying the buzz is gone and it's back. Maybe it's this microphone. Okay, oh, there we go, Blark. Oh, he's like, this is my chance, ah, damn it. Do you hear a buzz? Okay. He was so unrepentantly gross, it makes me so happy. There's a buzz left. Like, it's just, that just one. Just girlish glee, okay. just every time something vomits blood all oh, over the place. Oh, there's no vomit now. There it went. <laughs> like, no, I don't want to jump in. All right, I'm taking tested now. Hello, hello, hi. Can you hear me without the buzz? Well, they're saying the buzz is gone. Um, I don't know if that means that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Michael Jackson thing. thing. Yeah, it's, it, it was just that one. It's because it was so loud. Okay. I will say, the Reaper card right. still have some... How's music? the game yeah, audio sound? That, like I said, that, this one doesn't do. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Okay. All right. Sorry. I just had the. I guess I had that mic up too loud. Close your mouth when you talk. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're good. We're set. Raising money for Heifer International. Heifer, not Heifer. That's Heifer. I said Heifer. <laughs> Jeez. What if we're raising money for Hugh Heifer? He's a skater. <laughs> yeah, shut your mouth. Uh, he is on our, hard time. Our original charity fell through. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, That's how you tell a joke. We're uh, <laughs> Heifer International's uh, mission is to help feed the world impoverished countries that you know can't afford the um, you know the commodity of eating, and so a lot of starving people out there in Heifer.org. Uh, helps towards that. If you want to donate, at, right above our stream, if you're on the speedgamers.com, there's a donation widget, so. Anyways, uh, he, I think you have some donation incentives, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Um, for those of you who follow my uh, stream through TSG on Tuesdays, it's been known as Rockin' Tuesdays. Um, but I've been doing that for a while, a couple months now, I think. Oh, God, what are they saying right now? 
and so I'm getting ready to so switch it over to Tactical <laughs> Tuesdays, where I'll be playing uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, I'll be doing that for a while. Oh, I apparently I'm talking into your microphone. Oh, so well, apparently we we're doing that for a while, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's see, I'll, I'll fix it once. Maybe I'm, this might be the, where the buzzing was coming from. Yeah, because if this it, was turned down, then. Um, oh, was yeah. This might be where the buzzing was coming from because it was, but it was so extremely it, loud before. Yeah, that's why we had it up too loud. Oh, wait, they cannot. They could they not hear me? The They're saying they can hear me through uh, Fritz's microphone, like barely. Oh, well, that's sure it's fine. Well, we'll pull up a stream, and can anybody pull up a stream on one of their laptops and just see how the sounds are? Bill has that sound. Oh, okay. All right. That's some high quality commentating. My best commentating is test commentary. <laughs> but uh, we'll have above the stream will be the donation. What we're at, I think currently we're about two hundred eighty-five dollars on a goal of eight grand. Uh, local right now is working on getting it up on stream. We have some other cool stuff that. Uh, well, Chase will talk more with you about at midnight. Um, and actually, where it says the speedgamers.com, you'll see that text change throughout the marathon and stuff like that. And we'll have the donation amounts and stuff here shortly. But anyways, go ahead, Squint. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to be giving XCOM Enemy Unknown a try. And I have a donation incentive. Um, uh, for those of you who follow the stream, um, for how much should I do this for? Hmm. Mm. So, I, I mean, I, I want to make it high enough such that, uh, I'm going to say 20. 20 bucks. 20 dollars or over. You donate. You don't have, um, you, uh, donate 20 dollars or over in your donation comment, because we've got that donation widget. Thing, yeah. Same as before. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, just let me know. Uh, you say, I want to be an XCOM uh, for Tactical Tuesday, and you tell me uh, what what name you want me to use, and I will put you in the game, in my XCOM Enemy Unknown game, um, where you will probably immediately die horribly to an alien monster. But, you know, um, it's always fun to see that happen, right? And, uh, yeah, uh, XCOM is a game where you can uh, change soldiers' names, and... Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm eager to uh, put you guys in the game and watch you fight and die for the good of humanity. EA so. Sports, you're in the game, <laughs> or yeah. something like that. It's just in the game. just do it. Oh, apparently we got a big donation. Let me go to the donation comments. Let's see. By the way, you can leave a comment when you donate, which we can read here on um, on the stream, which we're about to. Uh, uh, one second, guys. Pulling that up. The donation total and all that will be on the screen here soon. Uh, Hello? This is a test. <laughs> from your local... I'm talking away from Brit's microphone now. I'm only speaking into my microphone. I can hear you saying Mike is still not working. Why are you holding it? <laughs> Okay. Well, hold on. I'm trying to get logged on to the donation thing. Oh, there the we way, go. Uh, Great God Sephiroth, it's your it's your twenty dollars. So whatever name you want to appear in XCOM is. Don't don't forget the, the parasite eaters home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So right now, whoa. 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 We've got... Let's start off. First of all, we, we opened the marathon with a $250 donation from Yellow Pepper. He says, my love. If anybody's seen that music video. Uh, <laughs> then we've got a donation from Chrysogy. Chrysogy says, I'm ex uh, excited to see spooky games. Good luck, guys. I'll be watching all weekend, cheering you on. You guys are the best. So thank you, Chrysogy, for that $5 donation. Which I'll bring up any $5 donation from here to midnight, you got a chance to win Outlast, which Rob will be playing at midnight, I think. Yeah, which Rob, he'll be playing at midnight. 
I think her no, you does cheese plays tomorrow morning, I believe. So I think it goes robbed in her. So Atlas, you want to win a copy of Atlas? Just donate five bucks and you got a chance to win that. Then we've got Jordan. Jordan B says, "Hey guys, it's uh, Farmir. Keep up the good work, and you guys should listen to a music video of the uh, what is this? Atmosphere board game. Link is okay. So we provide a link. It's clean, should be viewable. We'll watch everybody in the chat. If you have any doubts, watch before playing. It fits the season. All right, we'll give it a check out, and uh, we'll probably put that on stream here in a season, in a not in a season, in a second. Read the end of your what you said." Then Yellow, Pe Yellow Pepper donated another 250 bucks. Says, Swiggity Swooty, I'm after that booty. So, I don't know who that's pointed towards. Probably Squint, maybe Alan. There's no maybe about it. Then another $10 from uh, Emo Ranger, aka Sean. He says, Guys, I missed uh, you so much after the Final Fantasy. So glad you're back. Squint, can you talk like Jake the Snake for the rest of the shift? Thanks so much. Hope goes well. How about you want to give at least a little bit of I, Jake the Snake? I hesitate to bring this up so close to Alan, but what does Jake the Snake sound like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh Alan, god. He doesn't even like Jake the Snake, so it's cool. Chase! Sorry. Sorry, I just yelled in all your ears. I'm not used to having this. It's TSG Local. Oh yeah, okay, I'll switch whenever I go on. Okay. Hold on. All right, we got another donation from another couple donations. We got one from Chris or Gendar Me Officer. He says, Gondar. or Gondar. 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 Uh, sorry, it isn't much, but every little bit helps, right? That is correct. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for doing this marathon. I'd like to thank everyone who donates to help support the cause. Here's hoping we reach the goal. Thank you, Gondar. 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 Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, Ika says, "Oh, oh, hi guys. It's Eileen One here uh, for another marathon, or here again for another marathon. Missing some of today's action because of work, but we'll be able to donate some now. And someone gets she gets off work. Anyways, keep up the good work and good luck for the marathons. Greetings from Finland. That's ten dollars from Ika. Greetings from America. Greetings from yeah." All right, Chase is gonna add something real fast, so I'll let Squint uh, take over their controls here. Dance for the people, Squint. Okay. Do you see, do you see the, oh, right here, right? Street lights. Right here, people. type in local's name instead of mine. I don't know if you guys can see my face, I'm sorry. What about the little parentheses there? No, right there, perfect. Exactly how it will appear. Hold on to those dreams, yeah. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Street lights. Okay. There you go. Do you have? Oh, do you already have his command in there? Yes, sir. Thanks, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know his yeah, local. If you're watching, your trigger word and everything's been set up. If you want to test it out on the stream, um, go ahead and do that. Should we, should we give a warning? A trigger warning. <laughs> uh, so, like I guess was saying earlier, the donation amount will show up on the screen in just a bit. If you're wondering, we're at five hundred sixty-two dollars for Heifer International. If you're wondering where to donate. Where would you where would you go to donate, Squint? Well, I would go to thespeedgamers.com. That is right. Or is it donate.thespeedgamers.com? Uh, thespeedgamers.com. <laughs> there will be a donation link at thespeedgamers.com. Yeah. You Thanks actually could go to donate.thespeedgamers.com. I think it would take you there directly, but... Listen to your heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I quit. The world's your oyster between those two uh, <sighs> uniform resource locators. We got several new donations. You want to... There are two new donations here from WoW Gamer. Hi Andrew, it's WoW Gamer. Hey, it is Mr. WoW Gamer, and I miss your face less than three. Oh, heart. <laughs> and then we got one from Beck. Hi Beck. Looking forward to the marathon. This is for a great cause and can't wait for the scary games. You can do it, Alan. Yeah, you can wait for him? <laughs> <laughs> He's speechless. <laughs> Um, He's a man of few words. So. If you want to check out the schedule of games that we have, if you're on the speedgamers.com, there's a, there's a gaming schedule as well as a commentary schedule. Uh, what we're planning on doing is playing the games that we're going to be, that are pre-practiced, like, you know, that we've done runs for, that like Alan's doing right now, are going to be during the daytime. And then we're doing blind runs of games that are supposed to just scare the crap out of you. Like, 
Cheese tonight at around, is it, you started at 5 a.m. I think. Yeah. Cheese at around 5 a.m. is going to be playing Amnesia. And at midnight, Rob's going to be playing Outlast. So in the overnight hours, are going to be the blind, scary game. So if you're really into that and you want to see us get you know, scared and the Slender and the Haunteds and all those type of games. <laughs> so you can shoot, uh, tune in around that time. Oh my God, it's the Dodge um, Toe, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> it's that bad, guys. I was in that bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. That's Tiffany, it's the Slender Dude. Right <laughs> I like Piglio or something. No, the mic definitely is working. Yeah. We just tested it. Jeez. Tell him his is just quieter because it's opening up the room. Yeah. His is just quieter. We can get a different mic. We've got like five of them. Do you want to go in that room and grab another mic, Chase? You can grab another mic if you want. They've got like six of them in that room. I believe a machine for pigs is it's on It's good. The, uh... It sounded good? Okay. Hello, Proddle. A machine for pigs is one of the uh, is one of the games being played, right? Uh, it actually, we switched it out. Uh, oh, Condemn's going to be played instead. Oh. That was actually my game I was going to be playing. <laughs> I love Condemned. That's why, I, well, I haven't played it in like since the game launched, so I consider it still be blind. I remember it scared me, so I was like, I want to do Condemned. It glitched, yeah, at the final boss. Yeah. But uh, we do have the original Amnesia. Hey, Proddle. Let's see. I guess we can check donations again. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, our donation total is at $582. <laughs> We newest donation is from Nitrum. Hey dudes, this is this time I made sure I didn't actually click fifty dollars. Can't wait for a too spooky weekend. See you in December, y'all. Hashtag Team Nitrum. Team Nitrum. Apple says, Hey Apple here, looking forward to another great and scary marathon. That's ten bucks from Apple. So thank you. If uh, so like I said, if you go to thespeedgamers.com, you've got access to the. It's on the right hand side. You'll see a tab. It says like gaming schedule. Um, merit the commentary schedule. So if you want to see if you got some of your favorite commentators you're looking for, like if you want to look for Squint the next time he commentates, that's on there. Um, yeah, that's. How are you doing over there, Alan? Pretty good. He's got a pretty good, pretty clean run. I'm actually in the the house is the uterus. That's the thing. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I uh, temporarily I can put an update right here. Uh, where's text? All right, I'm just gonna do this for now. Heifer.org. We are at 582. I'm gonna put this up here for now. We're gonna have a nicer looking one that updates automatically. Um, probably within an hour or so, but for now we're gonna do this, just so everybody knows. All right, so we're at five hundred eighty-two dollars. You wanna have a goal for our shift? What do you think? Do you think it'd be? Do you think we get get the thousand by nine o'clock, or do you think that's too high? That would be pretty impressive. Um, Let, how about eight hundred? Eight hundred sounds good. All right, eight hundred dollars by nine o'clock is gonna be our little goal that we have. Yeah. It's Navi. I made it. Yeah, the sweet home uh, yeah. Parasite oh, Eve. Okay, yeah. do you want to do you want to go over that? Uh, I'm, what time do you play at tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon? Like yeah, tomorrow Anna's gonna be playing or uh, Jazzaboo is gonna be playing around three o'clock, and you guys are gonna make the choice of what you want her to you know see or play. Uh, it's between Sweet Home and Parasite Eve. Sweet Home and Parasite Eve. You guys get to choose, and the way you choose. In your donation comment, just leave uh, whatever amount you donate. Just leave in your comment what game you want to see. That whichever total is more by the time she starts, that's the game she'll be playing. Yeah. Will, what time do you think we should cut it off? 1 p.m. tomorrow? Yeah, let's. Okay, we'll do it at noon tomorrow. That way the shift. So by noon tomorrow, Parasite Eve, Home Sweet Home. Yeah, it's Sweet Home. Sweet Home. Yeah, Sweet Home. Well, whichever one you want to see, you can donate for it. I called it Home Sweet Home. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds scary, doesn't it? 
Ooh, I smell chicken soup. Home sweet home. <laughs> so, the thing is, uh, if anyone can contact the Speed Devil's archive guys, you need to form Team Anna messes up who I will run, or Team Anna messes up who I will run, because I stole both of their notes for both games, and I'm completely making a mockery of the speed running of the process. Uh, let's see, our last donation was free free from Fiona. Ten bucks. Um, if you're not able to donate, promotion goes a long way. It's, I mean, uh, you can use Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, Signal Boost. Um, use all your social media web 2.0 initiatives to uh, to spread the word and uh, help uh, get people watching the stream because um, every little bit helps. The more watchers we have, the more word gets spread. So it can still help us out. Yeah, and you can even, if you want to go to your favorite blog, um, gaming blog, it doesn't even have to be gaming related, um, yeah. but uh, that's another good way to spread the word. We've gotten a lot of retweets from all, all types of people. Drew Carey, um, I don't know, I don't want to, some cool people. Yeah, helping get end hunger, that's something anybody can get behind. So, yeah, um, say it's for Heifer International, it's uh, for charity. Uh, every last dime goes to them. What's some of the? What's your favorite person that's tweeted about us, Anna? Tim Schafer. Tim Schafer, yep. Uh, Spider House one is down. Uh, Twenty-two minutes. Here we go. Alan just dominated. Yeah, we're gonna. Which, by the way, uh, Mayday is not gonna be able to start playing until around nine o'clock. So we're gonna have to kill about an hour and a half. So we might play some. I don't know what we'll play to kill some time. Uh, House of the Dead, that'll be good. Might play some House of the Dead to kind of give us some time uh, while she gets home from work. So you might see Spider House and House of the Dead, and then uh, what was she playing? Costume Quest. So do you have a summary of the storyline? How would you how would you explain the story of Spider House? Story to Spider House is. Oh God. I don't exactly know because this version cuts out all the stories. Like the the house the guy's uh, girlfriend gets kidnapped and she's stuck in the house and yeah. he puts on the evil mask and he gives him power and it turns him into the Hulk. He gets all big and powerful. He punches things and they vomit on him and stuff. Can, can you guys hear Alan? Can you hear me? Just making sure. Master orator. Let's see. Uh, we do have the green screen set up. It's actually yep. right behind us. So. We got that. There's a green screen. Well, could you could you guys hear Alan? You could barely hear. It's because we have it so low. We just don't want it to buzz. You can barely hear me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm deaf, by the way. <laughs> Let's see. The promotion buttons will probably be up here in a little bit. Locals out right now. Let me see. I'm gonna turn this up. Okay. Talk now, Squint, and see if it's uh. Is that, is that better? We had them down real quiet because of the buzz, but you guys yeah. can probably hear the buzz now. So uh, I had the microphone about this far away from Alan, maybe farther, I don't know. Hello? Hi. I'm talking into it now. Uh, maybe this is the distance. No buzz for you? Okay. Is he, is he louder now? It should be. Because I turned it up a little bit. No buzz for you? Alright, well then, I guess it's just if it's like max volume. That's yeah, good, okay. Well that's good. He did. He beat uh, Spider House One already. He's gonna. We're going through the credits because we have to kill time anyway. So if you want to know who some of the staff are on this game, <laughs> and you're really interested into those details, um, yeah. you think it's the cable? You know, what? I'll go grab a uh, another cable real fast uh, just to, you know, fix it. So I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna go get a different cable for All you. Right. You can use this if you want, or the mic, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Ooh, no, I'm not gonna do that. So up next is Splatterhouse 2, or? Yeah. By the Allen Edgehead. Darn, I blinked and missed Allen's run. There's gotta be a better way. Luckily, I can go and watch his LP of Splatterhouse at that link that Trombonus just shared. 
Oh, I'm. I don't. I can't even tell if I'm in screen here. There. So up next, um, Alan is going to be playing uh, Splatterhouse. D. There, this one actually has story at the start, so it's gonna. I'm gonna let that play out. Okay. Haunted by guilt and tormented by nightmares. Nightmares of Jennifer's screams and the infernal temptations of the mask. Hell, death toll. Hell, death toll. <laughs> she doesn't have to die, Rick. Skull. <laughs> That's what it was. It was a mask. <laughs> We can save her! Go back to the house! <laughs> okay, <goofy. laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. Woo! Do you guys hear a buzz? Oh, cramp. I'm cramping. <laughs> uh, are, are you sinking? There we go. Okay, guys, does this mic sound better and is there a buzz? Uh, they're saying no. Nope. No, no, buzz. Buzz. no buzz. No buzz. <laughs> no buzz. No buzz. Is the, is no the quality much better? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, chat's saying it is. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so it was just the mic. Uh, apparently it was a microphone, maybe. I don't know. Oh, did I miss stuff to read? No. Okay. <laughs> that's that's what I care about. <laughs> oh, wait, there's text. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Maybe you get a case of the evil right there. Oh, it's a bubble. No, it's a language. Only I can give you the power. What's up? I just saw that. Did it look the same, but one's upside down? Come on, give me some dialogue here. No, no, no. You looked away the two times it brought two more sentences up. Oh, I ripped my hat. Damn. <laughs> what are you doing? Chase, we can go find my, my link hat. Okay, just lay right here. <laughs> oh, will you throw it to me? Hell no. Right. <laughs> this is oh, God. Splatterhouse. Okay, so. Two All right, guys. We got it fixed. Splatterhouse. It was Splatter -house the, 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 the mic. <laughs> okay. It's either that or it's either that or it's either that the hat floated, so I wasn't able to catch it. All right, here we go. Here we go. You look like you're getting ready for bed. Yeah. <laughs> get a get a hot toddy, uh, maybe a snifter of brandy, and then <laughs> send her off. Um. Oh, for if you some of you guys, well, if you've donated in the past, the way you donate has changed just a little bit, and it'll be just for this marathon. When you go to donate, it still accepts debit card, credit card, and all that good stuff, and you can donate using your PayPal. However, because of Heifer International's the security settings they have right now, in order to donate with your credit card or debit card, you still have to create a PayPal account. Hmm. We emailed them to let them know because that usually tends to lower our donation amounts. Yeah, it's, uh, so, it's a hassle uh, for people who don't already have a lot Yeah, account. so right now you're having to kind of deal with that. You'll have to create a PayPal even if you're using your debit card or credit card. Maybe we'll get that fixed by the end of the marathon. That's their security settings that they have. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, sorry if that's a problem for anybody. Uh, anyways, what are our viewers at? We're at 421. Keep promoing. Yes. Keep the... Keep the keep pushing. Uh, one art, a fan art contest that we're going to do, and we're going to use it also to to increase donations. Send in your fan art to fanart at thespeedgamers.com. No, actually, I think there's a t well. You can still do it at fanart at thespeedgamers.com, but there's a tab. There's a real easy way to do it on our streaming page. You just click on the fan art link, and or you can go to fanart.thespeedgamers.com. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you do that, um, submit us stencils, like pumpkin stencils. Does that make sense? You know, stuff that we can carve. Yeah. Try to do homemade ones. We want good homemade ones. And tomorrow, we're going to select three of them, and we're going to have a bidding war, which one you want us to carve, and then we're going to carve it. Oh, neat. Yeah. yeah. I know you guys want to see that. So submit your homemade stencils. It might be the one we carve, what we show off on stream. Mm -hmm. So that's a little idea that we've got. So. That's all I got to say about that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I guess we can check donations. It's been a while. 
Well, we broke the six hundred dollar mark barrier. Cool. Mark barrier. Oh, we, mark and we, barrier. Like Michael Barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, death toll. Um, NMU Fred. Good luck this weekend, guys and gals. Have fun. Fred is an old school TSG. -er. Dwarf says, hey there gamers, your local dwarf in a suit here donating a nice crisp $14 bill uh, oh. for you on the spooktacular day. Hope you girls get scared. Oh, I, I gotta do that in a dwarf voice. Well, okay, do it. It's really more of a gnome voice. But <laughs> hey there gamers, your local dwarf in a suit here donating a nice crisp $14 bill for you on this spooktacular day. Hope you, get hope you girls get scared. Love, dwarf. How much is that in dwarf gold? Like, what's exchange rate? It's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. Their, their government's shut down. There's no exchange rate. <laughs> oh, topical humor. <laughs> uh, JD says five bucks towards Parasite Eve. Nice. We got to get a piece of paper. I'll yeah, or a spreadsheet or something. Yeah, to get that thing. But so Parasite Eve is leading. So if anybody wants to see. I'm just gonna call it home sweet home, even though it's sweet home. <laughs> now, if he has already want, given up on calling it the right thing, uh, you need to, to bid against JD. Know what sweet home is, but if you tell him sweet home is a Nintendo game that's actually the origin of Resident Evil, it's like a oh, Nintendo Resident Evil. I didn't even know yeah, that. It's like a proto survival horror top-down yeah. RPG type thing. Yeah. That's sweet home. So if you guys want to see that, well, right now you're five bucks behind. <laughs> In order to beat that out, just when you donate, we have a system that it'll at the end it'll say, "Would you like to leave a comment?" and just just say, I want to see Sweet Home or Parasite Eve if you really want to see Parasite Eve. <laughs> yeah. So, and also, sweet if that also sweetens the deal here. Yeah, it sweetens the deal, yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet Home has six characters that can be named. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. So how many characters? I mean, how many letters can the characters? Six. Six. So there's six characters and six characters. That's on purpose. Oh, yeah, they, they were totally going There's for that. Yeah. Cha -cha. Yeah. So if you guys in here, Sweet Home has six characters, and they have six letters, letters that you can use. Yeah. To, so that'll be another incentive if we can guy, if you guys so, can yeah. push for that. Do you like Sweet Home? I do like Sweet Home. I yeah. made... I spent hours and hours and hours. I contacted Rain of Soden from Speed Demo's Archive. He ran the game for me. I watched him, took notes, and then ran the game myself and made a huge hideous map of the entire <laughs> game with lines drawn all over it as to where I needed to go. So what you're saying is if you play Parasite Eve, that will all go to waste. That will go to waste. However, if I play Sweet Home, <laughs> the hours I spent playing Parasite Eve will go to waste. So either way, there's just going to be a huge way, waste of time angry. on your part. Yeah. Oops, I just messed. There we go. Sorry. Whoops. Sorry, I hit, the, uh, I hit the wrong button. Sweet home played by Anna. Come on now. <laughs> what do you want from me? I hit the ROM button. No, I hit the uh, the numpad is linked to your scenes and um, and exploit, and so I screwed that up. So Anna, is there like a donation and like how much do people have to donate to? Is it going to be like the Final Fantasy marathon where they it's like a bid war or whatever? A bid war or what, for the character names or yeah i guess i guess it would be like just naming the party the final fantasy because it is an rpg party so so for okay. sweet home it's the six characters for parasite you, have, you can name aya and then name her gun and her armor at the very beginning of the game which listen so i guess it'll be like the top six donations would get the names or uh well if they can, or yeah because they're not gonna know who the characters are so yeah it's not sweet home is three or no it's, sorry, oh. it's not six characters it's five characters or uh, sweet home. There's five characters. So there's three girls and two guys. Okay. All right. Local has got up for us the. Uh, we can now switch out this ugly looking text that I have up there and put out an official looking stat keeper upper. And local, or as I like to call him Mad Dog, local Mad Dog Davis. If you want to test out your on screen capabilities, uh, you can go ahead and do that too. Uh, so let me delete this and let's get dangerous. Let's get dangerous. Uh, we also had a message from... Uh, uh, well, okay, I can't see chat anymore. But oh, I'm sorry. There was a uh, retweet that we had. Um, Speedwatcher650 says that Cree Summer retweeted about oh, the marathon. she's a voice actress. Yes, she's a in voice actress in every cartoon that has ever been made. Um, Gendarme says, I expect at least one person in Anna's party to be named Squint, and then the, the Kappa emoticon. So I guess if you want 
If you want me to die horribly in Sweet Home, then you'll have to donate for it. So the character, if your party members die in Sweet Home, they die permanently. Yeah, yeah, yeah permadeath, yep. Okay. Yeah. Resize this. Okay. I just pushed the chainsaw because that could happen. One second, guys. I'm just resizing everything. I'm sorry. What uh, what do you think looks the best? Uh, that looks pretty good, actually. Well, oh god, skinned baby vomited on me. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> hey, I believe, I believe, I believe Alan just said a skinned baby vomited on him. <laughs> this game's intense. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to just leave that up there. There we go. All right. I gotta make this look cooler. That's pretty good. I think I should make it a little bit smaller, like line up like that. Yeah. Sure. How does that look, guys? There's no wrong way to do this. Actually, there is a wrong way to do this. But. Uh, should I make it line up, or is it readable, or do you guys think it should be a little bit bigger? I'll let your opinion. Y'all, what chat? What is it? What do you think? Beck says it looks good. Oh, we've got a new donation. That's good. Yeah. You can read it. Okay, sweet. Well. Make the game. Dang it! The game screen a bit bigger. Well. Yeah. Let's see. We'll just leave this for now, like the way it is, and I'm gonna minimize this. And that way we have more on-screen stuff. Sorry, we're like puzzle piece and everything. I think this will be the setup we have here. Well, last year I thought we had two monitors, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we don't have we don't have uh, two monitors this time, so it's uh, we got to do a little more uh, movement stuff around to see everything. Uh, let's see. We got JD was our last donation, right? So yeah. Uh, uh, we got a donation from Austin. This is Mr. Olimario. There Good luck with the marathon. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> point, point out. And uh, we got one from Kyle saying uh, here's five dollars <laughs> towards Parasite <laughs> Eve. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that down. Five dollars towards Parasite Eve. Are there any other current incentives for donating? I'll be donating more later in the marathon. Uh, yes, we have the uh, we have my XCOM. Uh, get your name in XCOM and then die horribly uh, donation. Uh, that's uh, twenty dollars. Uh, minimum will get you a name, a name of your choice in uh, XCOM, um, and uh, that you will be able to see that on uh, my stream uh, Tactical Tuesdays. Um, I'll be playing XCOM for a while um, on Tuesday nights. Instead of driving a truck, I'll now be shooting aliens. Or actually, you will be shooting aliens if you donate twenty dollars at least and uh, get your name in the game. Um, and it will be uh, first in, first out. So, oh, one other thing: if he donated five dollars, he has a chance to win Outlast, which we're giving away at midnight. Oh, okay. Which is an indie horror game. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Kyle Frank, five dollars towards Parasite Eve. That puts it ten dollars. Yep, yep. Parasite I got it Eve. down here. They're bidding on between Parasite Eve and Sweet Home for Anna to play I just, tomorrow. I just got a spreadsheet going. Oh, nice. So. Um, are there any current incentives for don Oh, that's what you just read, isn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I just read what you just read. I'm sorry. But Kyle Frank, you got two shout outs right yeah, there. Yeah, two shout outs. Um, Alfred, hi TSG, Boom Cannon here, and this would be my only donation. I donated for Sweet Home. Too bad the marathon ends before my birthday, though. Well, happy birthday, early happy birthday, even though it's not going to land perfectly on it. I don't know what that means. It's, it's a reference to a TV show I watched a number of years ago where it was, the, the group was attacked by a group of mafia luchadores, and one of the guys was Oops. Cian Masquez. He was once a man with a hundred masks, but a gypsy person made him a hundred men all wearing the same mask. <laughs> Literally sounds like a fever dream. Okay. Uh, sorry, folks. I'm just 
Oh, Brett's looking at his phone, and I'm looking at my spreadsheet. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we got dead air going here. Entertaining. Entertaining. <laughs> so right now, uh, Parasite Eve has $10 towards it, and Sweet Home has $5 towards it. And the reason I'm looking over here is because I'm recording all this on my spreadsheet. Because after the Final Fantasy Marathon and like writing stuff down in pencil and scratching stuff out, I went all infomercial and I was like, there's got to be a better way. And there was. It's called spreadsheets. I love spreadsheets. Not to nerd out on you guys, but Microsoft Excel is my favorite application in the Microsoft Office suite. Let's see what we're going to do. Things real fast. I'm make Boom. Uh, we're let's see. Now we got to find the pumpkin thing. There it is. There. All right, and <laughs> local wants us to put one second. Sorry, guys, is being covered up in all sorts of stuff. Uh, there we go. You guys can't see. Ha 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 ha. Can't see me. Can't see me. Ha ha ha. It's a it's a tra It's a it's a prank. You guys aren't being treated. You're being tricked. Oh, tricks over. Boom. All right. Sorry, I just had to get that set up real fast. Hopefully that looks better. I then made a fool of myself and I tweeted it out. And where's that pumpkin? Local wants me to make it more opaque. <laughs> there we go. More opaque? That may get less opaque. Or okay. You want it more transparent or more opaque? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, let me get the chat back up. Where is it? Oh, Mario C. Oh, oh, no, no. No, it is one of the. There it is. Okay. Go ahead and put this on top. And bada bing, bada boom. We're set. All right. That does look a lot better. Zero Flame. Hey, Brit. Did the PayPal guest thing get fixed? Uh, no, not yet. It's we emailed them. How does this go away? You just click it again. Yeah. Uh, you so you'll have to donate using. Uh, pay oh, did, did you say it did fix it? Oh, he was talking about something else. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, so yeah, you'll need to at least make a PayPal account to donate. Typically during marathons you don't, but they have a security setting. Uh, Heifer.org does to where you have to. So um, for this marathon, if you want to donate, you'll just you know it's real easy to make. It takes like a minute or two. You mm -hmm. put in your credit card or uh, debit card info and then it says you know make a username and then it has you make a password so um, it's real quick real easy donations oh we got a couple donations I think our donation mountain is about to shoot up whoa yeah we're almost at 700 bucks yeah this will change in a little bit uh, we're at six hundred and seventy six dollars on the screen it's not reflecting that but it will in a bit once it uh, refreshes we have a donation from Nicholas. He says, hey guys, CDNST student. I think that's a Canadian student. <laughs> Canadian student, yes. Yeah, you guys rock. I can't wait to see uh, what's in store. I'm voting for Parasite Eve and Squint. Let's see. I can't wait to die horribly in your game. <laughs> well, I can accommodate you, Canadian student. <laughs> and and uh, Canadian student is one of the regulars who watches yeah. me drive a truck for two hours yeah, Canadian <laughs> on Truck and Tuesday. So. He's a lot of the TSG Presents streams, so thank mm -hmm. you for stopping yes, by again for a marathon. Yes, thank you for watching all the time. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put your name in there. We've got a, another donation from Phil's uh, Harry Potter World counterpart, Phil Potter. <laughs> um, he says, please put this 10 bucks towards Parasite Eve. So there's another 10 bucks. Of course, this is all going to heifer.org, helping to eliminate hunger in the world. If you want to learn more about Heifer International, you can go to heifer.org, check out their website. Uh, and um, Parasite Eve, 10 yeah, another for 10 bucks Eve. for Parasite Eve. Okay. Uh, gaming done. for a great cause. I think we can get to 8K. Mar Howling marathons are always tough. Like it's our toughest in the entire yeah. year. 
but we're off to a good start, almost 10% yeah. of the way there. Yeah. Stress strong, but remember, we got to keep going strong throughout the whole thing. So, um, And, you know, a Halloween marathon, really, the best time to watch is in the middle of the night. Because yeah. that's the spookiest time, you know. Hashtag spooky. Yeah. It's pretty spooky, <laughs> you know. I mean, I am scared to death of your costume right now. Ah, uh, yeah, I went. It's the spookiest costume. I've <laughs> See, I'm... See, it was a, it's an ensemble costume. I'm supposed to be Blue Link, but we didn't have enough time for a hat. So, actually, I just wore a blue shirt. But, yeah. but it's a good story. And look, if if you were to like go in front of the green screen, you would be invisible. That is true. Your I'd chest and your the top of your head would, would disappear. Isn't that spooky? That would be like a ghost thing. I would have like one of those, the cloak from Harry Potter. Spoopy. Uh, Alan, Alan uh, Taryn calls you a smelly nub. Taryn, you are a stupid. Uh, this just in. This just in. Uh, I'm getting reports now that Taryn is a stupid. Now, these are just preliminary reports, but I do have a very reliable source of the stupidity of Taryn. Um, it wishes to remain anonymous. He is using voice altering software, uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and go to live that for you. Yeah, Taryn is just a stupid nope. <laughs> uh, that was the uh, that was the uh, informant right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up more. Since I don't think this mic has any buzz, so we can cr crank you up and it seems to be working fine. Uh, Got it. Commentating after me and at 9 o'clock after me and Squint is going to be Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Yeah. Tyler, Tyler. What is it? Uh, who's the best? I forgot. What's Tyler is better than Chelsea. That's Chelsea. That was friend. And Tyler is better than you. I think they say it's be he's better than you. After Chelsea. All right, I'm going to refresh again, see if we've got any new donations. We're still at $676. Our goal is 800 by 9 o'clock. We've got plenty of time. We're about to hit mm -hmm. 7 o'clock, only an hour in. Yeah. Um, so not bad, not bad. Doing great, all. guys. Strong out of the gate. I like it. Bust that gate down. Tyler uh, is the I best. Have to say, so uh oh. I uh, 676.85. Chat, we're looking at you right now to give us some good feedback and stuff. Jake Peter, Slowflake, I really liked your Star Road Run. Slowflake is an awesome LP here, especially for, mm -hmm. he really specializes in Pokemon, and I get a lot of my Pokemon information from him. And also, we got a good, uh, there's a part of our forum that's pretty much his community. It's uh, Fire Technology, I forget what the thread is called. Fire technology. Fire. What's mm -hmm. the name of the thread? The fire technology thread? Uh, fire, fire, monkey fire monkey technology. Anyways, it's got a lot of his community in there. They talk a lot of Pokemon and other stuff. So if you want to check that out, maybe someone gives a link in the chat. Community.thespeedgamers.com. Lots of good Pokemon X and Y talk. What, what I really like about X and Y is because it came out all at one time, global release. Mm -hmm. uh, no strategy guide until October 22nd. It's like the gaming community is having to piece together like how to get a Sylveon and where yeah. to find this and whatever. So I've been using it's, the forums for that. It's almost like a, it's almost like a release of an MMO expansion. Yeah. Where, like everybody races home to load it up and figure out all the stuff and uh, yeah. Really cool. I, I saw the I saw the pictures you tweeted of oh, uh, yeah, the release. Oh yeah, from, the, from like, camping out, not camping out, but just getting there. Not camping out like the midnight release. Um, yeah, it was oh. packed. Uh, yeah, if you follow Britt's Twitter, he tweeted uh, pictures of him waiting in line, or it was not even a line so much as a mass of people, yeah. just in front of this GameStop. And and Kyramek, and Kyramek also tweeted a picture of the Pokemon release over at Walmart. <laughs> it was it was not nearly as impressive. <laughs> it was actually kind of depressing <laughs> in its own way. I mean, <laughs> it's just like meanwhile at Walmart, <laughs> there's like three people. <laughs> so if you're there for the experience, you go to GameStop. But if you just want to get the game and go home, and you go to Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> well, Oh, okay. <laughs> so in the chat, because I know a lot of people got Pokemon. What are you, Y or X? I got Y. Did, did you get? Any, did you get, pick up a copy? Um, I haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I gotta if, go with if Y you as well. We're gonna get a copy. Yeah. Why? Because it's got the bird on it. Yes. Um, I don't know what that bird is called. Um, because I haven't looked at a strategy guide. Um, I also kind of agree with Needle. I've uh, been playing a. 
Grand Theft Auto V quite a bit. Um, it's a extremely good game. Probably going to be game of the year. I don't know. Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon came out. Um, yeah. Pokemon's hard to beat, especially in terms of sales. Yeah. But GTA, GTA 5, five huge yeah. sales, huge. I'm waiting for PC release on GTA 5, so I pick it up. Yeah. I've avoided a lot of spoilers mm -hmm. and stuff, but the games. There's so many great games coming out this year. Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed 4. Oh my yep. gosh. Black the game, Flag. The I liked what they did with Assassin's Creed 2 because they really opened it up. Uh, I felt like some of the Brotherhood I think was good I think for some reason uh, Revelations felt like it got a little bit more linear I don't know mm -hmm. what about it made it feel that way I think because it opened up with so many like quick time events Assassin's Creed 4 looks by far the most open out of yeah. all the games and I like that about it but sorry we're going off a bit on games but <laughs> yeah. I guess I mean that's because we love video yeah, games we love video yeah. games we're allowed to talk about stuff it's our stream <laughs> any other what do you think big game candidates big well there's uh. like Batman Origins Batman Origins. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of indie stuff that's coming out. Um, now, see, I'm more of a PC gamer, um, so I, I look at like some of the Kickstarter, like Star Citizen. That's getting a lot of. Uh, it's it's being headed by the guy who made Wing Commander. Mm. Um, that's going to be big. It's uh, one of those Kickstarters that's got like five times or ten times what it asked for. It's uh, really getting up there. Um, what was the uh Mighty Number no. Nine. That's not gonna be out this year, but that really dominated that Kickstarter goal. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's gonna you know, be on everything. And and you know, I, I think like sometimes the hype kind of like the Kickstarter hype. Yeah. People kind of get carried away with it, so like you get this Kickstarter, like oh my gosh, now I have to like expand the feature set of the game. Yeah. To match these donations and um. Like yeah, we're gonna do this. Yeah. That, I wonder if any of the things I, I guess not. I mean, they have this stuff planned out ahead of time, but it does seem like once they start getting up there, like man, I didn't think we we're gonna get this far. Mm -hmm. They're just like, tell them we will add this into the game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, oh, another one that came out this year was The Last of Us. That came out this summer. Yeah, I, I haven't um, gotten to play that. And that yet. that won all kinds of awards. You know, nines and tens from every game review site you care to mention. Um, I played it. I played it through. Um, I played it through three times. I enjoyed it quite a bit. We got a new donation. The comment hasn't came through, but we're at six hundred and eighty-one dollars for Heifer International. Um, someone was asking about donation incentives. We've got a couple of them. Uh, if you donate five bucks between now and midnight, you got a chance to win Outlast, which Rob is playing at midnight. So that's mm -hmm. uh, if you want to see the game that you could possibly win, it'll be at midnight. Even though I guess it'll be too late at that point. Yeah. But uh, five bucks gets you a chance to win um, Outlast. It's a pretty new indie horror game, which I hear is pretty scary. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Cheese is going to be playing Amnesia after that. We've got scary games in the the overnight. Mm -hmm. um, other incentives. Uh, Anna tomorrow afternoon is going to be playing either Parasite Eve or Sweet Home. You guys get to choose, and all you do is just donate in the comment. You can put which game you'd like to see. Right now, Parasite Eve is winning. Um, we'll give you the amounts here in a Parasite little bit. Parasite Eve is a uh, forty-five dollars. Sweet Home is only five dollars. So Parasite so. Eve is really kicking butt. Yep. Um, and if you want to know where you can donate, you can go to thespeedgamers.com. That's our website, and there's a donate button. And all mm -hmm. the money goes to Heifer International, 100%. This chip in that um, links directly to it. So, anyways, mm -hmm. uh, big games. Batman Origins is coming out, but what game I'm actually equally excited to with Batman Origins mm -hmm. is the handheld counterpart that's coming out with it. It's got oh. some of the team, some of the um, old Metroid team. I can't remember what. Uh, which Metro team? I don't know if it's some of the Prime people, but it's got the Metroidvania style. Oh, that's but then awesome. it, They're trying to mix the Batman combat style. Yeah. So you'll be going through Metroidvania style, and then you'll see the thugs and stuff, and mm -hmm. it makes us do like a beat 'em up, hop yeah. back and forth type thing. But mm -hmm. uh, it's supposed to, whatever, from what I'm reading, it takes place right after Origins and story. So you'll probably want to beat Origins first and hop into mm -hmm. uh, Blackgate, is what it's called. But yeah, so that's another game I'm. Yeah, Link, Link Between Worlds. Um, oh man, I I could talk hours about Link Between Worlds. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, it was just there was a quote from Anuma the other day that was saying that it's if you're a Majora's Mask fan, there's going to be some tie-in into that a little bit. So. Oh yeah. And we've me and local the other night we were on raid call, got some screenshots, broke them down. <laughs> uh, maybe it, I I commentate tomorrow morning at six in the morning. I I'll go over some of that then because it's kind of dead then, and I don't want to mm -hmm. like. We'll, we'll save that talk for then. So if you're really into Majora's Mask, wake up at 6 a.m. <laughs> we'll talk about that. What do we think of DuckTales Remastered? Um, I know Rob played it uh, on stream 
uh, a couple times, once or twice maybe. Yeah. Um, I haven't played it myself. Um, it looked pretty cool. Uh, it did look like the old uh, NES game in mm. in uh, in handling and gameplay. Yeah. Um, and but it looks like it wasn't a one for one uh, makeover. It was actually a, a an original uh, Ducktales game. Yeah. With the cane bouncing and the cane golf and the. <laughs> They, they, you do have the option to play uh, the regular. They probably just uh, ported that mm -hmm. over to it. But yeah, the, it doesn't look like it's just a straight texture overhaul. It looks like yeah. No, oh, there's a lot more. Yeah. And I've heard pretty good things about it. Uh, there is the new Mario coming out for the Wii U. Uh, mm -hmm. what is, what's the name of the new Mario? Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World. I got some <laughs> Super Mario. Super Mario. Uh, Meowio. Oh, that's right. It's got the little... At the end of every one of those teasers, it's got the <laughs> cat meow at the end of it, which is, which is which is weird. But they've added a lot of... Some of the uh, mobility to some of the like the boots and the stuff like that. That's what they seem to be really emphasizing. They're going to bring back like the boot and all sorts of crazy stuff. And a cat suit, of course, with the meow. It looks good. Um, I remember when I first saw it, I... I was just kind of felt indifferent, but the more and more they put out about it, the more and more pumped I am. So that comes out in uh, somewhere this holiday, November, I think. <laughs> <laughs> November twenty second. Yeah, that's like that's a. It's got Assassin's Creed. Wow. Oh, yeah. I forgot we got the new consoles out this uh, holiday. Oh yeah, I forgot well. about that. Phil, are you gonna be my first Xbox One? Let's see. Okay, November 22nd, JD. JD's on the ball. We do have a new donation from Kyle. Here's another five bucks. If you, I think you might have skipped my second donation comment or maybe it never came through. I donated $20 right after my first $5 one earlier. Put this towards Parasite Eve. Okay, let me go scroll down. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, yeah. Here's, well, here's another $20 for Squint to name someone Narf. Also put this towards Parasite Eve again, so that's another twenty. Sorry, missed your comment, Narf. We yeah. Good thing we found it though. Yeah, and uh, actually, it was. Uh, no, Narf is the name. I'm gonna make one of my XCOM guys Narf. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, if Narf Narf does watch my uh, d Narf does watch my stream, so he'll be like, "Hey, what am I doing in there?" It'll be nice. It'll be fun. One second, guys. I'm getting a text from my wife. It's your game. Let's see if she can bring me a sandwich. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. That is, that, I don't. Oh yeah, I can see how you could take that. You're so progressive, <laughs> Brett. You're so progressive. No, but seriously, I'm starving, <laughs> and I don't. I don't want like a burger or anything. And it's just a ham sandwich sounds amazing. <laughs> We're at $681, almost to our goal of 800 for our shift. That'll make us 10% on our way to 8,000. Which Halloween marathons are they're a lot of fun to do, but in terms just because of where the time of the year is, yeah. and I guess people are at school and stuff. It's always been a tough marathon for us. Mm -hmm. Way back, yeah. 2008 marathon we raised 1,000. 2009, I think we raised around six, and then there was one marathon we raised a ton. It was like 16 grand, but that was because we had a an anonymous donor match our goal. So we really got yeah. around 8,000. So let's see if we can try to match that Resident Evil marathon that got us 8K. Um, and that's our goal. Yeah, 8,000 would be awesome. Every little bit helps. So Narf, you are going to be in XCOM. You will be fighting alongside Canadian student, maybe. Um, you guys are the first two in, so you'll probably be in squatted up together. I, the whole chat is now about sandwiches. I'm sorry. Let's see, let's do it. Everybody's comments are just getting deleted. Yeah, it's all those, uh, all those spam bots. I didn't even see what they're saying. Yeah, it's not worth it. Message eated. Okay, let's see. Our last donation was from Narf himself. Uh, 681 is what we're at. We only need, for our little goal that we have, we've got two hours to get 120 bucks. We can do that. We might even have to extend our um, donation goal. By the way, yeah. there's a poster behind us that we, we need to give Untuxable credit. Um, 
we I didn't think we were going to have a poster, but Chase was able to uh, to print one real quickly. And Untouchable made this. It's a minimalist speed gamer poster at the bottom it has our details which you can't see but trust us is on there we'll, <laughs> yes sir we'll raffle that off at the end and get everybody to sign it but uh anyways no paninis are awesome panini panini i don't know how you pronounce when i go when i go to the restaurant and i see it well, i just read it how i well it's interesting is that the word panini is italian for sandwiches it's right. plural so when someone says paninis they're saying sandwiches double plural I remember this, uh, Gwellen came down during the uh, summer, our first like final, first big summer marathon, Gwellen came down and uh, we were at a Mexican food restaurant and he saw it was enchilada and he ordered an uh, enchilita. <laughs> so that's like me and my pananis. That's like a diminutive enchilada, yeah. an enchilita. But, uh, the more you know. Do we get any donations? Oh, we're at 800. Oh, whoa, someone donated a lot. We just reached our goal. Let's see. All right, well, uh, let's uh, let's take the rest of the shift off. Yeah, we're done. No. All right. We're done. All right. <laughs> we'll have to extend our goal out. I wonder, we're about to refresh and get an update, but we're at 800. I don't even know if they left a comment. I guess I can scroll down here. It looks like it was, it was NARF, NARF again. NARF got us to an even 800. We're already at 10% of our way to the goal. Wow. I'm going to get a taco burger from Taco Casa. <laughs> yes, taco I love it. <laughs> Not a jack-in-the-box taco. <laughs> we just had a Taco Casa open up, which is... I think it's a food chain that's just local here. Oh. But we should we should go by there before the marathon's over with. But oh, really? I'm going to get a taco burger. Taco burger. <sighs> what a great country we live in. <laughs> yeah. Just one. Should I go with one or two, chat? One taco, two. two. I'm gonna go with two. You can eat one and then save one for later. That's true. I guess depending on if you're like I'm gonna go with two. staying here for a while, or going home or whatever. We're gonna go with two. Narf put us over. We're at 800 bucks, so we've maybe we could get to a thousand by we the end of our shift. Let's make it a thousand. Um, although, guys, um, you really want to help Narf out. I mean, Narf is carrying you guys here, so. It's like me when I play Dota with my brother. <laughs> We're chasing here. Yeah. Oh, he left. Okay, $118.15 towards Parasite Eve. Oh my gosh, he really wants to see Parasite he Eve. He really wants to see uh, Anna Jazz? play. Where's Jazz? Anna. Norf really wants to see you play Parasite Eve. She is, she is all the way into her Pokemon game. What I just said did not even register. She didn't even look up. I said, <laughs> I can hear you. I, can, I knew there was like a person talking somewhere far away from my DS, 3DS, but I did not register. Uh, Narf really, really wants to see you play Parasite Eve. He's donating. He's donating very generously towards Parasite Eve. Does he know that there's no memory card for it? Well, yeah, uh, we'll get one. We'll does get he one. know that there's no memory card for it? He does now, because I just said it into this microphone. Yeah, you can let them know that there's a like, vague outside chance that I have to do the entire thing without saving. <laughs> now they're really going to donate for it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get a memory card for it. If not, she's going to have to do it without saving, which <laughs> probably is really hard. I but. didn't die the last time. I did almost die. Yeah. We're still yeah we're still not up to Freya levels, but um, but you guys can make that happen. Well, Philip, if you want to see Sweet Home, uh, please donate towards that and start rallying Sweet Home back to a victory. Even if it's a dollar, you can chip away. Yeah, chip it's not too late, you know. Nothing's set in stone Origin here. Of Resident Evil. Also, Origin Narf. Uh, hideous rainbow. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The time will catch up. There you go. It's, uh, as you can tell, it's it updates intermittently. The, so. the, the pay... The, the time you're reading on the stream is actually a web page, yeah. so it, it refreshes automatically. That's what it's like. Anyways, let's see how many viewers we got right now. Let's see how much promotion. We are 426. Let's see if we can get over the 500. Holding steady, yeah. Yeah, see if we can get over 500 barrier. We're going to need you guys' help for that. Yeah. Promote, Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, yeah. web blogs. It'll be crazy, especially... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blocking the part of that. But... Um, I mean, it's funny, all of a sudden our viewers will shoot up and be like, what happened? And then we'll trace it back to either a retweet or a blog. But sometimes yeah. our views will go up by two, three hundred. 
In the case of our very first Final Fantasy marathon, we got an MMO champion and we shot up to like 40 something thousand and we we're mm -hmm. just like, what? Well, uh, this has got to be something, is something bugged? Yeah. So promotion is just as good as donation. If you can help, um, you know, just it's give your favorite blog a, a, a It's tip. almost like the, the viewership was like one of those power level things and you're like, yeah. this, this thing must what? be broken. Yeah. It's over 40,000 viewership. The viewers. <laughs> viewers just explodes on you. <laughs> So are we not using the uh, the white microphone over there? Um, so. That one, it's like it's. These are both you know omnidirectional. So that one, it takes kind of like small sound in the room and amplifies it. Oh. And this one, it's easier for. We have separate inputs for games and all sorts of stuff, and we can individually okay. adjust our audios and stuff like that. So it's because a stand would be nice for this. <laughs> um, I could get a stand. I could go grab a stand. Well, uh, let's see. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab yeah, a, a mic stand for uh, Squint Real Fast. So we'll be right back. Keep donating. 800 bucks. We want to get to a grand before 9 o'clock. That's two hours. Well, we're at 1200 uh, Somebody, <laughs> we're at $1,200, so we got to set a new goal. <laughs> okay, uh, 15 1500 1500 by the end of our shift. I, I don't know who just donated. Wow. Wowzers. Holy crap. Go, go, gadget donation. We've got a $200 oh. from Patches Yeah. that it says, Hey, it's Patches from the chat. Put this towards Sweet Home. Also, Squid, oh, snap. Uh, name a character My Sweet Time. Can do. I believe I've heard, heard of that person crap. before. $1,200. We're $1,200 already, Tyler. I don't think he can hear me. My uh, Sweet Time, you are now recruited into XCOM. Uh, here. But the NARF donated another 200 Oh, crap. What, what is going on here? What What is happening? Y'all, I do not know what is happening here. And then this... Oh, man. The, <laughs> Narf just put another 200. Narf just put another 200 towards Parasite Eve. All right. So what's the score here? Uh, uh, Nar uh, Parasite Eve is at $383.15. Uh, Sweet Home is at $205. Holy crap. Wait, yeah. what is it? Sorry. Uh, Paras Parasite Eve is at 383.15, and Sweet Home is at 205. 205? Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go get a... we got a bid war going on, 1200 bucks. Let's pump this bid war up. People seem to really get into it. Yeah. So, be right back. And remember, guys, the game that doesn't win, you won't see. So, so there are consequences for losing this bid war. Yeah, Punkle, it was, uh, it w you don't want to hear the word that came after that. Oh, my goodness. It was, whew, it was salty. I'll tell you what. I'm still plugging away. Uh, the game he's playing is uh, Splatterhouse 2. Hello. Alan, language. You should hear some of the things coming out of this boy's mouth. Chat has shown over the total. That is because it. There you go. Let me refresh this. Twelve twenty. We go. Hey, speed gamers. Philip O five four four in the chat informs here donating for Sweet Home, and whatever other contests you have going on at the moment. Okay. Well, uh, Phil, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put you in uh, XCOM. Since uh, you said you wanted whatever else was going on at the moment, so. Philip0544, I am typing that in right now. And. You are in XCOM! Good job. Alright, I found this. The other ones look like they're about to be used for an event. Sorry. 
Well, if we keep using this old C, I'll, uh, I'll check tomorrow if we can use one of because the, they have all their equipment out. Like they might be about to use it. They've got all like yeah. amps and stuff, so I don't, I'm afraid to take one of those. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'll ask. I'll text them. Um, okay. Oh, is this bid war still in action? Uh, he's donating to Sweet Home, so it's up to two twenty-five. Uh, should I put the bid war mounts on the screen so they know? Do you think? Um, we can keep. Just keep Same what it is, yeah. Okay, so right now there's a bid war going on to see Sweet Home, Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve's, Eve's leading three. Uh, 383 15. Mm -hmm. And Sweet Home is two, 225. And this is for the game that Jazzaboo's going to be playing tomorrow yep. at around, uh, I think, 3 o'clock. Yeah. And it will not go down to the wire. We will cut it off a couple hours before I think we're that. We're going to do it at noon. Yeah, at noon, noon tomorrow. Yeah, so. Um, don't think you can just snipe at the end because uh, it's going to be ending a uh, little bit before that. We're at one thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. I wonder where Chase went. So we've got to set ourselves a new goal. I guess fifteen hundred by. Let's do it. Fifteen hundred. We're off to a great start. Yeah, an absolutely um, wonderful start. Our goal is eight grand. We're over fifteen percent uh, of the way there to our total. Okay. We're about to break our very first Halloween marathons amount. Uh, <laughs> awesome! Yeah, yeah. This so is just gravy. Oh, sorry, Britt, Squint. Tell Alan that Taryn is sorry for being mean to him, and that I'm sending energy to his metaphorical spirit bomb. Uh, you are still a stupid. I'm uh, getting reports that uh, Taryn is still a stupid. <laughs> I cannot verify these reports, but I have it on good authority. Okay, that's enough of that. Hello. So we're at $1,220. Alan Done. just beat Splatterhouse 2. Should we get a live interview? Like, what's... Alan, what are your... Alan, how are you feeling right now about beating Splatterhouse 2? Every time I see a green Mustang... I have discovered the formula... <laughs> If you want to make Alan not talk, you just put a mic in front of his face and ask him a question. <laughs> the monstrous visage disappeared into the lake. And the terror mask has left me as I was with Jennifer. But what of the mask? Acting. <laughs> Skull going away. As long as that mask remains, it can happen again. You guys are getting a wrap up of the story of Splatterhouse. It was a really gripping story. Mm -hmm. I can tell. That. And it's got the and it's got the Ninja Gaiden cutscene going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got Mayday plays about nine o'clock. So we're gonna have to kill about an hour and a half of time. Um, well, like I said, I brought Umbrella Chronicles ooh. and uh, uh, House of the Dead two and three. So. It's cool. Maybe. He says we use a schedule for any game, so you know, me and him could go through House of the Dead or something. Do sure. you like House of the Dead, or but are you evil and do I have to kill you? I'm commentating. You can do both. You commentate and, like, <laughs> point the game screen? Yeah. I'm shooting. We could probably, like, borrow one of the mic stands and put it over there for now or so something. You can commentate your if own you want run. to. It'll be just like Speed Demo's archive. <laughs> Pro no, I will. Pro <laughs> I will not. I will absolutely not be delivering an SDA caliber performance on that. Not even on a rail shooter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's rail shooter. I'm saying. You guys don't even know. Let's see. We're at one thousand two hundred twenty dollars. There's been kind of a, a feud going on between those two games, mm -hmm. Parasite Eve and Sweet Home. If you guys want to see Sweet Home, you got a bit of ground to make up. It's over a hundred bucks, I believe, behind. Actually, let me type in a quick formula here. I'm just going to have it automatically calculate uh, the Madden difference. That series is scary. Uh, I, if they look at my Twitter, I actually made a thumbnail of my giant map. It's, <laughs> it's not the whole. It's it's a tiny version. But if they go to my Twitter, they can totally see the huge map I made for Sweet Home. Okay, uh, Parasite Eve is currently $158.15 ahead Ooh. of Sweet Home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So people are, we're at 1420 now. Okay, let's uh, oh my gosh. see what we got here. Canadian student, here again, putting $200 towards Parasite Eve. And Squint, would you blow Sweet Time a kiss? It will make her day, smiley face. <laughs> Two hundred bucks oh, from Nicholas God. Blast. Oh, hold on, let me get close. Fast. Yeah. That I'm is sure CDN like student. <laughs> wow. I don't. So now Parasite Eve is just way ahead now, right? 
Yes. Come on, Sweet Home's got to make a comeback. Look, if 200 of Parasite Eve. Before, it is legit creepy, especially for a Nintendo game. What's legit up? creepy, yeah, says Anna. Right. Says Jazaboo. <laughs> Wow. Five party members, you get to name all five party members if you want. Caden says he intercepted that kiss, so oh. uh, y'all guys are going to have to donate again. Caden awesome. Kane, Kane was like, <laughs> <laughs> put it in my pocket. I ship it, you guys. Wow. Four, one, 1420. 1420, all right. We're on, man, we're doing great. I mean, we're, yeah. Yeah, this is all you guys. We're, I have nothing to do with this. We're, we're just going <laughs> to, uh, you haven't done anything yet.